What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Ottoman Empire. And we have been attacked by a Prussian army that's actually got mostly Well, it's a it's a very it's a small force, but they've got three units of their best artillery. So I'm gonna take this as an opportunity to destroy them before they have a chance to join up with another force. So let us attack. And previously in the last episode we had an incredibly major and pivotal uh, uh, river battle against the Austrians and the Prussians and it's highlighted that I need significantly more men in the field than I currently do. So we are going to be on the offensive here. They have lots of artillery so we don't really want to stay back and we do specifically want to destroy their destroy their um, their guns so let's blow my house back a bit firing quick line strong infantry line backed up by a strong melee line because they do have lots of pikemen no, lots of cavalry sorry so I want these guys ready to attack in the event that they get um, charged to probably deploy my howitzers a little bit further back again to make sure I don't get any friendly fire. Group my cavalry up because they need to advance fast. Riflemen are a bit out of place. So they've got, the unit they've got, which looks so scary, is 24 pounder guards heavy horse artillery, which is a battery of five 24 pounders when you normally get three. So this is a ludicrous amount of artillery. And I think they've probably got better stats than regular 24 pounders do as well. Here come the cavalry charge. Let's get one of my howitzers to start dropping. Both my howitzers, to be honest, to start attacking that Swiss pike unit. Hey. What are you guys doing here? Oh, please make them rout. That would be quite the coup. Pikemen, go hit those horse guards. Okay, retarget my howitzers to prevent friendly fire against my line. Ooh, one danger close. Mission. They've been knocked out. Push up. Who are you? You're a regiment of militia, so I'm going to send a unit of Mamluk guards to chew, to chew them up. Should let's do both of them. It'll be quicker. Run my Mamluk guards away. The only way this battle ends well is if it ends quickly. So let's keep my cavalry moving. These guys can fire it well into Lanvey militia. Actually, they don't have an angle. You guys smash into those artillerymen. You guys smash into them. You guys hit that routing unit. I've caught them on the move, so they should all just they should all die fairly quickly. Let 
but it's a very powerful artillery unit. It's actually it can rout fairly quick. But we need to hit the militia. Yeah, they've gone for it really quick. These guys need to hit the militia. So unfortunately we haven't got all the artillery kills that I would like. But I will take destruction of their their army. So you guys keep picking apart the pikemen. You're going to be sometime cleaning out the militia, so you guys want to go after that line infantry unit. Let's move my general over to try and intercept the 49th Regiment of Foot. charging them down. Pikemen are going to get away, sadly, but we've done a huge amount of damage to them. And damaging pikes is always good because they always complicate my strategies to chase them down at the end of the battle. There's always a pike unit somewhere that's in a really bad spot. This unit's going to wait to see about any of them routing. You guys chase down the infantry. Wow, that's a lovely quick line right there. Look at that. You can see them all from back here because the grass hasn't rendered in. Superior line infantry indeed. And actually, you guys wait. Do you do wait? only five of them left and they've got time to be engaged. I know, Demat Ali, he's engaging a, a strengthened unit of line infantry. There's only 70 of them so he should kill them. Halt the artillery fire. The musket fire works if they just attack that unit and we're going to speed up time. We've stopped our artillery from being annoying. Hopefully you don't kill a bunch of my men there. Nope, good. I'm sure I... Oh, it's actually... So you guys weren't firing at will. You were... I did target that militia specifically. Hence why they... My riflemen did not stop firing. Damn, you stopped attacking them to go clear out the militia. You got off lightly, my friend. Still, that was a good win. We lost... Yeah, we lost 500, they lost 1700. Those are, the kind of the ratio, those are the kind of ratios we really want to see. Pressure's coming in to fill in the gap that their Austrian brothers have now just left. Either through losses on the battlefield or through um, manoeuvring their forces to the, to the east. Yeah, Russia won't be around for long. I would make peace with them, but it behooves me to uh, not. Because they hold Courland, I think, somewhere around there. Don't try it, Dagestan. We have 
an imam in Galicia. So we've already got a couple of you. Will you go up to Warsaw, start trying to convert? You, who are an excellent imam, he's very pious and he's got lots of lots of zeal. Go up to Vilnius. And we've got another one who's not quite so good. Minsk does not have one. You go to Yelgava. Actually, I might destroy the coaching in to build one. What I do want to do is make sure all my armies that can replenish are being replenished. That includes these fellas down here. I don't want to move this guy. Let's get a general. And I've. Can you guys guess what I'm going to recruit to get him? 24 pounders, two turns to recruit, and one turn to get here. And then this force here. You. I might position you somewhere to actually go get ready to fight. To fight Denmark. We are in war with Venice, actually, so we could get a nasty surprise from from at sea. Okay, so let's recruit Camel, Mameluke, Mameluke. Just demi cannons down here. Two raw Cairo infantry guards and a unit of Sekban Janissaries. Let's start to create a force down here to go and prosecute targets in both Africa. Add on two third rate ships of the line for our navy. Let's pick up a few economic upgrades to make sure we're not leaving anyone behind. Or at least too many. Yeah, Moscow's growing well. They are they're unhappy about industrialization. I think it's valuable we keep doing it let's also fix this weavers and let's replenish both of these fellows because i think i'll want them up here ready to respond to any swedish aggression then kiev you've got one unit of nezam infantry let's march you out and let's start to build your army One Delhi horseman, two Sipahi, three twenty-four pounders. Don't want a bombardment mortar. Five hundred range. No, thank you. Two twenty-fours, and let's start to fill this guy up with Nizam infantry. you are on you're not on specifically going to go anywhere so you guys you go into riga just go near riga um 3000 migi yield mines some farms and wealthy craft workshops a good idea and what i might actually do Pick up a general and start to build a very basic force ready to just go and take Dagestan. Because this kind of thing worries me. Let's just build a gun in Tbilisi. Yeah, we've started to build our port in Iraq, or our navy in Iraq, ready for it when... We eventually get declared on by the Mughal Empire. We're starting to build a force in Cairo, bring another force in Kiev. You guys are you guys are at full strength, but I want to pull them back just a bit. Spend a little bit more. Oh you're almost pretty you're almost full strength. These guys are ready to push on and ready to push on to hit Vilnius, but not yet. I 
do want to build up my forces, and obviously I did lose some good men holding the bridge. So much so, I might actually bring up this guy. Well, suppose this is his function, really. Um... Hmm. Combine that. Feed a Nizam infantry into Nezu Nadim. Bring these guys out. Swap them with a fresh unit. Combine those units together. Drop in another fresh Nizam. Let's recruit to this army by reinforcing army. Let's recruit some. Um, Grenadiers. Okay. I think that works out quite well. Got two armies here ready to attack Sweden if they do anything suspicious. Got an army ready to go take Riga, one army to go hit Vilnius. Let's hit in turn. Spending an awful lot of money. Every turn, 43 grand, it's still not enough. <laughs> I could spend much more than 43 grand a turn if I needed to. Come on, Austria, it's time to turn against Prussia. I may send one of my Austrian ports round to go blockade the Austrians, just to do... When I have two fairly decent navies. I might actually send them, send one of them to go do some uh, blockading. I always want to keep one behind to protect my ports, but obviously I do want to send out ships to conduct some offensive warfare. And blockading Austria would be good because I can reach one of their home ports. Prussia is more difficult because their tendrils are spread across the lands. God, that's a lot of troops. But this is kind of what you want when you've when you've got a big empire you want to face other big empires you don't want to face loads of minnows because that's pretty lame let's be honest yep moogle scholars are traveling far and wide to steal technology Whatever goes on in the Americas is none of our concern. Lots of successful missions. A new town emerges in the Sea of Azov. Craft workshop. Okay, let's build a couple of better roads to the rear. The Madrasa is no longer needed in Ufa because they're 100% converted. Kazan is still converting. Komi's still converting. Build a couple of. Let's build a farm and a trapper post. I want to upgrade my farms in Kiev to keep the population growth rate high. Because we're going to be. I'm going to try and recruit a lot of men from there. Bunch of artillery, none of it being recruited from Kiev. Let's upgrade to an army staff college. Okay, so let's pick up. Don't want raw Cairo, they'll take too long. Four Janissary Musketeers and also need of Semat infantry. So in one turn that will all be built. Which is lovely. Let's pick up some commercial port upgrades because these guys are contributing to trade. Well, not the £5,000 ports. Not yet. Or the 10 grand ones either. Run three infantry march on to Tbilisi. Although it's not 
yeah, these military upgrades aren't super needed. Not super needed in Turkey yet, anyway. Same here. And again, you go to the last quarter, have I not attacked the Iroquois? Because who are they friendly with? Allies with Austria and Britain. I'm a war with Britain, with Austria, but I'm not a war with Britain. I don't need any enemy troops sailing around here. So you are raiding. Let's recruit an admiral here. Topal Damat. Are the Prussians at war with the Spanish? No, it looks like they just sat there. Okay, let's send you up to go hit Trieste and cut them off from international commerce. They've got a navy, but mine outguns it. Classical economics researched a very good economic tech. You've gone straight on to citizenship, which is probably a good idea. Construction report. Lots of lumber mills, palatial estates, great estates as well. Got a steam engine factory. Migi of mine. Wealthy cotton mill. It's upgrade you to a steam. Actually, no. Before I do that... Pick up a general. Well, well, you la. I'm not going to try to pronounce that any again because that was probably very offensive. Uh, let's pick up a bunch of infantry here. You can't get Nizam infantry, so I'm going to upgrade to a military academy to allow it. Nope. It doesn't allow it, so it still might have to be Israeli for you, but that's okay. Recruitment in Anatolia, Ukraine, and Egypt. Good. Let's recruit another general's bodyguard. Let's recruit one in Turk in um, Moscow. So I can keep recruiting men. These armies... Oh, you're waiting on one unit to be fully replenished. So let's put Vilnius under siege. Who are you waiting to replenish? A lot more, but I'd wager... Put Riga under siege before the Swedes get there, at least. Alexander Minshikov. Um, yeah, we're going to attack that. It's just a bunch of artillery. So let's go and take Vilnius. Artillery is not a massive concern. It might be a bit dodgy because they might be able to put up a decent amount of counter battery fire. But we've got so many men just swarm around the place, open up all of the doors, all of the gates, and then swarm in and kill their artillery. That's the, the overall battle plan. Don't tell anyone. Okay, so going through the front door, my inf light infantry, two units of Israeli, and my Sipahi I want here as well. This big block of infantry. Your job is to climb over the walls. I doubt the gates will be open by our spies. Let's hit the breach. You guys drop quick lime. So you definitely go for that Swiss Grenadier unit. So I want to see them hit the Grenadiers with quick lime because that would be lovely. A whole bunch of garrison militia. Grenadiers are also very unhappy. Okay, let's get offensive with my cavalry because they've deployed some artillery outside the walls.
We've also deployed artillery out on the other side. This is it. They've got so many guns, they can't... Uh, They've got so many guns, they can't actually focus their effort. So one unit definitely intercept the cuirassier, the other just goes straight for the artillery. some units up threat. You just go straight through this combat. Pick a second band Janissary unit just to charge straight into them. some janissaries to sit there and wait to go through the gatehouse. Get these two fellas to come around the rear, ready to charge in. You guys charge the gendarmerie. Don't worry about the artillery because they can only recruit a number of these at once. That's part of the reason why I'm so keen to kill them. They can only have so many. These guys are being fired upon. Well, we're being fired upon. There we go. Get away from the walls. Change one unit to hit the West European infantry. The mercenaries there. have engaged their cavalry inside the gates. Let's also run some Sekban infantry to hold the line in front of the gate. Push up our line. Push up the cavalry. Because also the gendarmerie are going to charge out. Set the cavalry, the infantry away from the walls. Hit the other breach. The grenadiers are so keen, they're charging down the wall. Actually, this cavalry just run around here. Wait for us to capture the gate. Did I not delegate anyone to charge up the gate? Push up, they're shattered. If they do charge, if we do capture the gate or if they come out, I've got my melee infantry up front. Front men straight down to attack the 24 pounders. go. They're coming in, so my melee infantry go first. Backed up by my Janissary Musketeers. There you go, you guys run in. Let's 
worth charging. Get some of my light infantry to charge up onto one of the walls. Don't care if they get isolated, just attack them. Get off the wall, don't worry about running anywhere smart. You guys kill the last Swiss Grenadiers. Just hold all our artillery now. Attempted to block us at the front gate. There we go. Now it's just a tidal wave. There you go. Hit the people attacking the gate in the rear. They say they're winning, soon they will be surrounded. And we've just got an absolute wall of guys coming in. Yeah, the gendarmerie can be pulled off of their horses. Like you guys charge around into the West European infantry. Don't know why the, the announcements are all buggy. Yeah, we lost the gates because the uh, artillery crew. The remaining cavalrymen uh, captured it back with a cart. Very clever indeed. Everyone except for you. Kill these infantry in the gate. There we go, they've all broken. Well, near as damn it. There they go. The garrison is broken. Hurrah! Well, I'm pretty sure that's everyone. Yeah, it is. There we go. Vilnius is secured. And it cost us 800 men. I'm going to spend all the money on reinforcing as many men as I can. And we do have a bit of a buffer state. Okay, knock down the coaching in because I'll want, to, I'll want to replace it with a religious building um but yeah looking at the timer that looks like a good time to end the episode so rash your hit and turn i'll do that let's let everything tick on one more because it's usually a bit it's not so great to end on a end turn let's see how the enemy respond probably not well is my answer The Austrians are growing in strength, but so are we. And soon, the time will be right for an offensive through Venice. To be honest, the time might be right at the start of next turn, depending on um, how the situation looks. So they're certainly shoring up their eastern flank, which is good. It means we've not got all of their forces facing us down in Hungary. But you've got some men... Well, it's about two, three-ish stacks. That's what they've got there, roughly. So we at least want, we want at least three stacks, probably closer to five, in order to assume three of them get absolutely annihilated in the fight we still want some fresh forces to take advantage of the win rather than just having three men we beat seven bells out of them they beat seven bells out of us and nothing really changes because you can't afford to hold on yeah the Mughal Empire coming to look at our 
fantastic amount of research and intelligence that we as a faction have built up. As piratas. Right. So we're still spying on them. Loads of new buildings. Sol's Sol's observatory. Got some new military buildings in Kiev. Your artillery is coming from somewhere, but I'm not sure where. Your artillery is going up there. Ah, some of it from the front. Okay, let's spend a bit more to replenish them. Let's build. I'll pull their buildings again. Just put Riga under siege. Yeah, just under siege. It's Russia's last building. Or last territory. I could do that. <laughs> Should I try and... We'll, we'll peace if you become our protectorate. Nah. <laughs> it never normally happens, but figured it'd be worth a, worth a crack. Instead, actually go over to Riga, because Riga is more immediately about to come in within our possession. New general here in Moscow. Pick up the... the so we don't need this to build this Moscow army. No, let's upgrade or repair the buildings in Petrovskaya. The Russian troops aren't raiding us. They're still raiding Sweden, which is fine. Upgrade the roads and let's make this mine a steam-pumped mine. Let's fix some of these buildings. Let's build you into a madrasa. upgrade you into a madrasa as well because you're not currently being converted upgrade minsk is minsk's minsk's road network um i'm not sure where your artillery is coming from to be honest because i know there's some down here but that's going up to the front Although it might be time to push forward. Because we did previously hold the fort. But we got pushed back. And that's actually quite an elite army. Two good stacks of troops, really. Lots of successful missions. That's lots of spying. Let's repair the farm. And Well, no, there's no much, not much point in repairing the farm. Um, and let's also knock down this happiness building so we don't have to worry about it. Okay, so the army down here. I'm going to upgrade the Ordnance Factory to get howitzers. And let's pick up some regular Israeli just to bulk them out a bit. It'll take them a few turns to recruit everything anyway. Let's get some... Semat Janissaries and some howitzers ready to send over to Tbilisi. Let's upgrade you to steam powered factory. And let's go down to Kiev. We can march up to here to pick up the howitzers. So you've got some artillery coming your way from somewhere, because I don't quite know where. Oh, these guys. Three artillery units. You can probably get three, just three Israeli as well. Maybe you should pick up, well soon I'll have to pick up, definitely pick up that to get the bonuses to happiness, that'd be super handy. 
And I probably want to get the military engineer school, because I want to get some 64 pounder heavy artillery. A thousand range. That I can make like a C some proper wall breaker armies. Because damn, Warsaw is fortified. Um, but yeah, I've yabbered on far too long. Let's take this army into Mr. City and let's attack the Russian garrison. But, looking at the timer, I believe that's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continuing rolling on of the Ottoman Juggernaut. Cheers everyone.